$80 per month. Really? Really, Adobe? That's how much you want. You really don't want to pay $80 per month for Adobe products. And to be fair, in majority of the cases, you don't even need it. It's just too expensive. But thankfully, there is a new kid in a block. Well, not entirely new, but has been gaining some traction recently that can give Adobe very, very dangerous competition, at least concerning Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you an affinity suit of apps and I'm going to be comparing to its Adobe counterparts and why possibly you should switch to them today. So what even is Affinity Suite? It actually consists of three computer apps and two iPad apps. These are Affinity Photo, which is Adobe Photoshop counterpart, Affinity Designer, which is Adobe Illustrator counterpart, and Affinity Publisher, which is Adobe InDesign counterpart. And in addition to these three, there are also two iPad apps, which are Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. Now let's compare these apps and I will give you five reasons why you should switch to them right today. Oh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by Affinity. This is purely my opinion. Okay, reason number one. You can do practically everything which their Adobe counterparts do and they're much less demanding. That means that they are optimized better than their Adobe counterparts and in turn work faster. Why though? Adobe is usually winner in industry. It's a titan beast of an entire industry. And it is true. Adobe has more capabilities than its affinity counterparts. But because average user in a best case scenario will use only half of these capabilities, the other half is simply a burden to your system. And because of that, despite providing only around 80% of capabilities on its Adobe counterpart, affinity apps just run much, much faster which is an incredible news for anyone who is using older computers or just a weaker systems. <sighs> Reason number two, seamless integration. All Affinity apps are so intertwined with each other that they are practically the same app and each one of them can open any file of other two. And you can seamlessly switch from one app to another with ease. As an example, if you're working in Affinity Publisher and you're working on some type of book and you want to add a photo that you don't entirely like and would like like to edit it. You can just select photo and switch directly to Affinity Photo without ever closing Affinity Publisher or even opening Affinity Photo itself. Entire interface will just switch to Affinity Photo, you will edit it as you would do in Affinity Photo and get back to Affinity Publisher interface with just one click of a button. In case of Adobe, you will need to export the file, go to another app, edit it there, export file back from there and edit it back to InDesign. Which one is better? I know that Adobe apps are connected, but connection between them is not as seamless as between Affinity app. It's simply not. And with the case of Affinity, they are so integrated with each other that they're practically the same app, all three of them. Or let's say if you want to add some kind of illustration that you want to add some vector graphics to your book you can do exactly the same thing with affinity designer you can switch from publisher to designer interface add whatever tools and things that you want and get back to publisher with the simple click of a button without ever closing any app or opening any new app yes again i know that adobe has integration between each other's apps as well but there's still separate programs that needs to be opened separately and now you'll need to run two apps simultaneously or three in some cases affinity does not suffer from this problem which makes it very very powerful tool to use reason number three ipad apps at the moment of the recording affinity photo and affinity designer are also available on ipad as well and why it is important because ipad apps affinity photo and affinity designer are practically the same apps that there are on a computer just with an ipad interface i kid you not they are exactly the same apps with exactly same capabilities Maybe with an exception of the plugins. You cannot do plugins on iPad. And they even get the feature updates at the same time. On the contrary, Adobe apps, which are advertising as amazing on iPads, they're simply a joke, dumbed down versions of their beast computer counterparts. Yes, there are some great Adobe apps on iPads, like Lightroom, for example. But overall, there is nothing like Affinity apps on iPad. There's simply no competition. It simply like wipes the floor with Adobe and it makes it even more powerful if you're using Apple Pencil. 
Reason number four, constant future updates. Now, here's I'm gonna give a credit where credit is due. If it wasn't for Adobe, Affinity would never become the service that is today. Because Affinity needs to catch up with Adobe. There is no denying that Adobe is the best in its feature set and in all of its apps. But it also allows Affinity to understand its only real competition really well and to catch up with it. And they do it by rolling constant feature updates to all of its apps, which all are completely free. You don't need to pay any additional payments in order to get an access to all of the feature updates that roll out all at the same time on all of the computer apps and all its iPad apps at the same time. And they do it because they are very closely integrated with each other. Like for example, recently we got update 1.9 on all of the apps. Okay, now reason number five, which is probably the most important of them all. And it is an actual reason why I even got to comparing these two apps with each other. And it is that Affinity does not have subscription fees. I kid you not, paying $80 for Adobe subscription for a handful apps that you might use is probably the biggest waste of money in all of your creative career. Most importantly, if you'll stop paying, you're gonna lose access to all of the apps at the same time. And do you know what Affinity did instead? They made their software only one time fee. So basically you buy software only once and you get lifetime access to all the updates. Well, at least all the updates since I bought them has been free. I'm not sure how long it will continue though. So how much it will cost you then? Usually full computer versions cost $50 for each of an app. 50 for Affinity Photo, Affinity Design and Affinity Publisher. 50 each, $150 in total if you buy all three of them. And iPad versions cost $20 each, Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, which is $40 in total. In order to gain access to all of the apps, you're gonna need one-time fee of $190. <laughs> but wait, there is more. Now compare this to $80 of Adobe. $80 per month for Adobe. Affinity apps will just pay for itself in just a few months. I know that Adobe is actually giving you access to far more apps. I know that and I understand that but I'm talking about using only these three apps. In Adobe's case, it's Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. But in case of Affinity, it gets even better. Affinity is actually providing the software on a discount very often as well. And there's a discount going on right now. I bought these apps last year when there was this discount as well. And do you know how much I paid for all five of the apps? There's a discount of 50% going on today which cuts the prices of all apps in half. That means that you're paying $25 for each of the computer apps, which makes it only $75 for all of them, and $10 for iPad apps, which makes $20 in total. An entirety of Infinity Suit you can buy for one time fee of $95. The value that these apps are giving to you just simply cannot become any better. And I'm not sure if you can buy anything that good for any cheaper in any industry. I know that for some, even this is expensive as well. I understand that not a lot of people has free $95 in his pockets. I know I've been there, but if you want real quality, you cannot go cheaper than that. And this one time fee of $95 for five amazing apps simply sold it to me, literally. All in all, I know and I understand very well that Adobe apps are actually better in its feature set because they provide better features and more features. They are the leaders of industry. They are leaders of the market. There is no denying that. Nothing can beat them at the moment. But because of its subscription price and because probably 95% of you will never even open all of the apps in Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm not even talking about using all the features in all the apps. It is simply not worth it to pay that much money. When there is cheaper and way, way too good alternative. But because of that, I highly suggest you to get Affinity Suite. And if you feel like that you're making enough money from your creative endeavors, and you feel like paying money for Adobe Creative Cloud is actually very good spot in your money investment, at least for your business, then by all means, use Adobe. If you feel like that you will need it, 
But if you are a beginner in Photoshop, Illustrator or InDesign, and if you're just starting your career and every penny is actually very important for you, then Affinity is simply the best choice there is. You will not go wrong with that. I can practically guarantee it. And if you want to start with at least money paid possible, and if you have an iPad, start with an iPad apps. They are cheaper and they're practically the same alternatives. Plus, I'm pretty sure majority of you will only need Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer anyways, and you will not need Affinity Publisher, which actually, according to developers, is coming to iPad as well. And again, this was all my opinion. I was not sponsored by Affinity. I would love to be sponsored by Affinity, but I wasn't. So everything was here, my honest, true opinion. So this will be it for today. What do you think? Have you ever heard or used Affinity software? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya. I've been recording this nonstop for 35 minutes. End result will be probably like 10. Well, you see. I really need to get more efficient in this. Thank you.